to really sum up a, a simplicity to understand really what a taxpayer is, someone who um, in the natural um, situation with a natural name, a given name, uh, is not part of the world of the legal. Uh, that that world requires that tagging or that assignment of the last name to uh, bring it into an existence in the legal world so it can be a taxpayer. So it the tax is imposed with that last name uh, for the purposes of implementing or taxing an individual who is playing in their uh, realm of legal rules and regulations. So the world of the, the natural world in nature doesn't have any of that, but the world of man and the make-believe needs a make-believe name in order to add on to the real name, the real God-given name in order to implement the fraud. And so therefore when you use it, and you consent to it and you're involved in it, you basically are going to be taxed. And uh, we have to really look at the rules in it. God, uh, through the words of his son, said in Matthew 6, 24, you cannot serve God and money or mammon at the same time. It just isn't, cap it is impossible cannot means impossible so you can't do a little bit of both it's one or the other so in the legal world when you participate in that you place yourself in the realm of Caesar and therefore Caesar has the ability to do whatever he wants with you so if he wants to do an economic reset he wants to eliminate uh, capitalism if he wants to create a socialism communist regime within his own realm, he's going to do that because it has nothing to do with God or theocracy. And therefore, right now, we're in historical times where this is about to happen. But it's not happening to anyone individually that is not consenting to be in there. The whole message of escape was to leave, to get out, to come out of her, not to go in, not to be involved in that world. It was reversed. The early Christians were leaving their businesses by, were selling their belongings, their estates, and then giving it to those in need that were on the journey for the preaching of the coming kingdom and the gospel message of Jesus Christ which purchased everybody from eternal damnation into eternal life in his kingdom. So unfortunately, the world of man is on a doomsday clock going in the opposite direction. There is no hope in the legal system whatsoever, and it will get far worse. And so we'll talk probably what you would not have realized, why it appears to be going in a different direction in the government euchre game, which we're going to talk about next.